skills right knowledge and give you lot of hands on experience by teaching with different kinds of projects methodologies and other things so therefore be careful from where you study your business management in agri area and then who should be studying agri management yeah that's a very good question every student when they call us they ask sir am i uh, am i uh, eligible or should i be entering into this particular field you must have done your bsc ag or msc ag but everyone is not uh, the right uh, individual to enter into this professional those aspirants those students who are really fired up those who want to make big in their life they should only study this particular program because it's an international program you will be operating at international level you will be meeting international clients probably traveling international destinations so therefore it requires a lot of dynamism a lot of energy a lot of self confidence in fact lot of self investment within to grow to those levels so therefore those aspirants who are career and life focused they should enter into this particular studies agri business management those students who are very ambitious they have set a clear vision for their future they should study those who just want a job they should not get to get into this particular studies those who have ambition to make big impact in this particular area they should only come those who are aiming to begin their career with challenging role lucrative remunerations and then the growth is unlimited those who have this kind of vision they should study this agri business program those who want to accelerate their career at a fast pace want leadership position very early because as i said in the beginning in my presentation that this particular sector has huge number of people who are working in production side but there are very less who is into the business side into the marketing side distribution side supply chain sides so therefore when you join this sector suddenly you will be given leadership position you won't have to wait 10 years 15 years to become uh, assistant manager or regional manager or even area manager so those who are ready to take leadership position early in their life they should be joining this particular sector or those who want to become entrepreneur in future because as i said many of you will have agricultural land some of you would be uh, having a farming background also so those lands those agricultural output from your field can be converted into valuable product by just installing smaller small scale processing units at your places and then you uh, suddenly start earning lakhs of rupees today you are struggling to even sell your products to the market but when you process it the valuation increases almost 100 200% and therefore you become an entrepreneur in your village or maybe in the city so these are some of the aspects which if you have then you should be studying uh, pgdm or mba in agri area so i would just tell you something about our institution vishwa vishwani institute of systems and management is a premium business school in hyderabad it's third largest a triple plus and we have faculty from diverse streams majority of them are industry experts and we have alumni who are spread across the world including middle east us canada and mexico so therefore when you join our institution you get immediate connection with Uh, our alumni and therefore your guidance and your further learning from your peers and from your seniors is a continuous process and we offer program in core areas such as marketing finance hrm and operations area and we have sector specific programs like pharma business management as we are discussing agri business management we also provide uh, uh, programs in banking financial services and insurance area business analytics area healthcare management and any other sectors whichever will evolve and uh, which becomes industries areas to study and then we add up those programs as per the industry's recommendations so these are the certain programs we offer in sector specific areas and uh, so this is all from i my end Uh, i would just like to uh, 
tell you that uh, india is a big country as we all know 17% of the world population and huge scope for growth we are just 3 trillion economy comparing america which is 22 trillion and china which is 14 trillion so long way to go our per capita income is very low if you compare with the europe even middle east so long way to go and those who want to add up into their life make big in their life want to utilize their brain properly innovate become entrepreneur or get into this sector those energetic individuals are required to sign up for pgdm or mba in business management or agri area so this is all from my end i would be taking a few questions from your side uh, with reference to agri business and its aspects or potentials and now i would uh, hand over the platform to our colleague dr sudhakar who is an industry veteraner uh, veteran from fertilizer industry over to you sudhakar sir thank you very much thank you bharat sir uh, i hope the audience have got the deeper perspective of the subject now let me introduce our uh, second speaker dr sudhakar reddy is an industry veteran who is an astute agri input and marketing management and teaching professional with 24 years of experience in the areas of institutional sales marketing market development and teaching he has worked in the pesticide fertilizers and agri related industries uh, for the last so many decades he is presently serving in the capacity of uh, dgm in one of the largest fertilizer companies uh, over to you sudhakar sir Yes, sir. We are able to say uh, see your screen. We can start presenting. Uh, hello. Yes, sir. Your voice is also audible. Please start. Uh, continue, sir. Uh, screen, sir. Yeah, we are able to see your screen also. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, Navin ji. Thank you, Dr. Bharat sir. Thank uh, you, sir. Go ahead. Uh, you were uh, valuable presentation and information to the students, parents, and for me also. thank you thank you for inviting me and uh, it is my pleasure privilege to be here to present in front of the enlightened people parents professors and uh, students this is dr sudhakar reddy so regarding agriculture agriculture is an art and science of cultivating the lands soils crops agriculture is the first culture in the world agriculture is the best culture in the world agriculture has taught the culture to the human being when human has started his life so uh, coming to agri business it is a concept encompasses the whole range of activities from agri input manufacturing marketing of the agri output as well as the value added and processed food to the ultimate customer so mba in agri business is emerging as one of the popular career choice among students the main aim of the course is to provide students with knowledge about the concepts of crop cultivation food production agrochemicals farm machinery value addition value addition processing and about the seed industry fertilizer industry and agri business industries and their uh, requirement in coming to indian india is an agrarian economy with around 60% 60 to 70% of the population depending on the agriculture for their living and for the business also post independence india faced with the challenge of scanty production so if we remember that during 1947 after getting the independence we were depending on the overseas depending on the other countries for our food there was a slogan that when we get the then only we can feed our population means every for every every day we were waiting for the ship to come with the wheat or uh, food grains or rice vegetables and other things so then only we will get or we will feed our population so during those days it was only 36 or 37 crores population and even for 36 crores population we were depending on other countries then we became self sufficient because of green revolution 
uh, white revolution green revolution means crops white revolution milk pink revolution meat mutton blue revolution fish so because of the great scientists and their work their new varieties hybrid varieties fertilizers agrochemicals and farm machinery we could able to sustain become self reliant and able to feed 1.35 crores of population right now and also we are exporting and becoming number 1 and number 2 in exporting our agri and agri related products like we are number 1 in the world in production of milk papaya fruits pulses millet chilies mangoes juice and ginger and we are number 2 in exporting wheat rice sugar cane groundnut onions potatoes see over a period of 50 60 years there is a sea change that depending on other countries for our livelihood food and we are self sufficient and able to export and becoming the number one country in agriculture and agriculture exports or number two country so types of agri based industries so people students may be uh, generally they will be thinking about the jobs orientation uh, after completing this agri business so these are the, the types of business or industries one is uh, agro produce value addition uh, division agri output marketing division agri uh, input manufacturing units like fertilizer agrochemicals seeds farm machinery micro nutrients and all those things agri services units like consultancies so these are all the value added products we are adding value to our milk and sugar which are the products agri outputs of our uh, industry see these are all the things from wheat we are getting our uh, value added products and uh, these are the fruits and these are the these are all uh, value added products from our agri yogurt so chips so earlier our dr bharat sir also told that uh, adding value to our the agri output will give will fetch like uh, so potato we are selling at the rate of 30 rupees a kilo or the same potato if you process it value add the value to the chips making the chips then 300 rupees to 400 rupees a kilo so this type of uh, uh, enterprises people can adopt students can take up so that they can become uh, entrepreneurs and they can provide jobs job seeker can become job maker or job giver so by establishing this type of value added products and processes and fa factories and units and manufacturing units so this is about the fertilizer industry so there are so many uh, companies in the country so the top most private industries i think if you take fertilizer industry there are government uh, companies like rcf and uh, fsct and mfl madras fertilizers like this and there are cooperative sectors like ifco and cripco and there are private companies like kormandal chambal uh, juwari tata deepak like this these are all the turnovers they are having very good turnovers and very good profits which can accommodate the students like you by giving you very good salaries It, uh, the package may start from 10 lakhs to uh, 60 lakhs or 70 lakhs per annum so there is no bar it depends on your caliber to catch the jobs in this fertilizer industry so then coming to agro industry the, these are all indian companies i am showing you and all of them are indian multinational companies like upl pa industries these are all indian multinational companies basf and bayer company they are german based multinational companies which are doing very good business in india and they are providing very good very good uh, packages to the students so coming to this are all the fertilizer so you might have seen in your um, agriculture courses like 2820 npk 1435 these are some of the products and these are seed uh, samples so this is about seed industry fertilizer industry agrochemical industry which are doing well and farm mechanization like tractors mahindra these people they are also recruiting the bs agriculture students and one more thing each and every organization in india they should start or invest in the agriculture the previous central government has started they are ordered and suggested all the companies including the banks also they should invest in the agriculture sector agriculture business so that is the reason why even mahindra a tractor business company they have started investing in the agriculture like mahindra shubla so mahindra Uh, agrochemicals mahindra seeds even uh, state bank they also started even reliance which is purely different company they have started investing in the agriculture and even tatas they are all there in the tata chemicals tata rallies so all organization they should come and invest something and so that 
the, the so that the, because of their investment india will prosper uh, students will get opportunities and we can uh, do the good to the country so this is the way how the country is uh, changing and investing and uh, prospering the agriculture so agriculture is the best way so uh, so you might have seen that uh, that uh, covid 19 issue uh, has taken away almost all 46 million jobs in usa only so means 4.6 crore people they became jobless and they applied for the uh, employment uh, what you call this uh, for the um, they have applied for the uh, employment uh, schemes means further if any job uh, is there so they will be become senior so means they have lost 4.6 crore people they have lost their job in usa only and in india also other sector so like automobile and other sector they are they are going to lose some jobs but in agriculture they are getting more jobs they become it has covid has given the way uh, to increase the jobs means now people are not coming out the agri output fruits vegetable people they have started recruiting the people to distribute and get the money by supplying the vegetables so covid 19 has increased the employment in the agriculture in india so agriculture so is a base fundamental life and way for the indian and indians so every time we will have opportunities jobs uh, and business growth in india and if you if you might have if you might have seen observed in the year of 2008 and 19 when global recession happened all european countries all uh, other countries and singapore malaysia hong kong all the people they have down economically and they have lost their jobs india is the only country which has not felt the recession during 2008 and 19. So India will sustain, will grow in all ways, always. Thank you very much, my friends. Thank you, sir, for giving me an opportunity. And I will take, take up the questions and answers. Sir, uh, thank you so much for your input, sir. Uh, now uh, uh, we are ready to take the questions. In fact, I have a set of questions which are already posed by our audience. Uh, let me first uh, read out the first question asked by uh, Mother Krishnan. Uh, Agri MBA, what's actually that course of uh, uh, course means? Uh, he may be asking what actually it is. So I think uh, major part of it is already answered. Uh, during the course of the presentations, we'll go to the next question asked by Alekia. Uh, can we do Agri MBA in private B schools? Yes. Who would like to take the question? Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Ah, so can we do uh, MBA in private MBA colleges? No, that is the question by Alekia ji. So yes, we can do. So you can opt for the best colleges like Vishwa uh, So you can have a very good future, bright future. You can learn here in Vishwa uh, and you can prosper. You will get very good opportunities. They are having campus placements also. Um, even so many multinational companies, Indian multinationals like ITC. I heard that my ITC has taken so many people, uh, means has recruited, have recruited so many people. And this uh, Nestle, a multinational company, have recruited so many agri professionals. So even from uh, other companies like Indian multinationals, also they are taking and they are recruiting our from Shashwani. So you can uh, have very good. In fact, so these private MBA institutes they will take care of all the students. So they they are you can you know, I can say 16 hours a day they are working and thinking for the students. So that's what I want to say. I don't want to tell anything about other organizations, organizations but the private com private organizations like Vishweshwani, they are thinking, working, doing, and acting 16 hours or 15 to 16 hours for a student. Yeah, yeah Navin, uh, Navin yes, can I take that question? The previous question, one student asked what exactly teach in uh, Agri MBA, uh, right? Yes, yes. Please, please go ahead. Yeah, so I would like what is what is his name? Krishnan, Mother Krishnan. Okay, so Mother Krishnan, it's a very good question, a very rudimentary and elementary question because students does not understand what MBA exactly means. So I'll just try to tell you one thing. 
producing something and then marketing something are the two different things earlier it was very easy to produce and go to the market and sell it but today because of competition it is very difficult for you to sell in the market that's why earlier if you are a doctor you just open your clinic and your clinic will run you are a dentist you open your clinic and your clinic will run but today it is not happening if doctor is not able to uh, you know, run his business the way it was being done 20 years back so they are also learning mba dentist also learning mba so mba is teaching you the business part of the activities not the production part you have the product but how to sell to whom to sell at what price to sell when to sell how to attract your customer like for example if you are having a watermelon if you sell in kompal in hyderabad you will sell for 30 40 rupees the same watermelon you take it to high tech city you can sell it for 80 rupees the same watermelon you will export to us you can sell it for 500 rupees so it depends upon how you are able to you know strategize your selling part or the business part so agri mba teaches you the business part of agricultural business not the production part thank you Let's go to the next question asked by Saurabh Ramesh Kolhe. He asks, uh, I am in BSc Chemistry. Can I get admission to MBA Agribusiness Management? Well, uh, I would never suggest him to take Agribusiness Management after doing his Chemistry BSc. Because uh, agricultural uh, learning has to be there at the graduation level to do a business management program in agri area. You come from sciences background and you want to learn agri business management, you will not be able to understand so many basic aspects of agricultural activity because you didn't have any foundation in that. Or to my knowledge is that. So it is not suggested. He can do normal MBA and take finance or marketing as a specialization and some other specialization like operations or maybe retail management or banking finance and insurance sector as uh, you know sectoral specialization but it is a little niche area for him thank you uh, uh, mr sagar pansare asks is there any difference between abm and agri mba uh, sagar uh, there is in fact little difference between these two uh, we will go to the next question. For the uh, agri student, general MBA is good idea or the agri MBA? And how, how what again, is the difference? Come again. For the agri student, is general MBA good idea or agri MBA good idea? What is the difference? Well, uh, you have spent three, four years studying your graduation in agri area. You should always use that as a foundation to take off in your career. If you have done your B.Sc. in Agricultural and after that you do a general MBA, then therefore you won't be able to specialize in any area. For example, you will study marketing. It's a very general understanding. It is always suggested that we should use our knowledge to build further knowledge to, to actually grow vertically. If you have done you know, uh, BCom or you have done some sort of uh, technical course at graduation level and then you should graduate into business analytics or some area. The, the bachelor level program must have some connection at master level. Otherwise, what happens when you study master program, which is away from your bachelor level program? So neither you are efficient with your bachelor knowledge and neither you gained any uh, exceptional skills at your PG level. So there has to be a connection. I would always advise a graduate who is into the agricultural or BSc, AG or agricultural studies to study agribusiness rather than a normal MBA. Uh, there is one question asked by Krishna Sri. Uh, she says, uh, if, it, uh, if it, it is producing raw material, then do China is producing, sir? I don't know, probably, uh, you know, Bharat says PPT, she must have picked up the question, but uh, the question is no, not I, I didn't get you. Come again. She says, sir, if it is producing raw material, then do China is producing? 
I don't get the question anyway. She is also not. I also didn't get the question. Yeah, I didn't get the question. <laughs> Naveen, uh, can you repeat it? Can you please? China is producing raw material. Uh, she says if uh, if uh, if producing raw material, then do China produce uh, is producing raw material or not? The question is not complete actually. Not yeah, complete. Uh, she is not. She is also may not answer, on. Doctor Bharat sir, may I answer sir? Please go ahead sir. Please go ahead. So uh, regarding the raw material, uh, the question is not complete. So what I understood is raw material means uh, China is producing raw materials and. we are also importing raw materials from china so like seaweed extract humic acid that is fertilizer segment even pesticide raw material and technicals we are getting from china and um, uh, processing and bottling packing them and selling even the phosphoric acid for fertilizers and sulfuric acid for fertilizer manufacturing like npk 2020013 and other uh, fertilizers uh, 1435 14 2028 we are getting the raw material from china and we are processing manufacturing the fertilizers and micronutrients and uh, other uh, uh, agrochemicals so this is what i understood so since your question is not complete so regarding raw material this one and we are unable to produce the raw material as far as the agriculture is concerned we are 95% we are depending on other countries like gulf countries china america and for potash canada russia so this is what i understood i think uh, to my uh, understanding i think i have answered uh, mr rahul has been raising his hand i have uh, unmuted your audio rahul can you hear me rahul Yeah, Mr. Rahul, you have put yourself on mute. You raise your hand. Do you have any question? Okay, fine. He doesn't seem to have any question. Uh, I'll just read out uh, one more question asked by Priyanka. What are the subjects? What do we learn in agri business management? Oh, well. Uh... i will answer this as i was saying agri business management is all about the business side of the agricultural economy or agricultural management so you will be taught about marketing of agricultural produce distribution of agricultural produce there are some certain contract aspects like everyone cannot enter into every business so what all the compliance aspects which are required to uh, to start agri business there you will be taught about the business uh, economy and agri business potentials entrepreneurial activities and what are the different uh, activities and agri uh, business uh, management professional can initiate and then you will be taught about uh, various other factors which influences uh, agriculture and agriculture business for example dr sudhakar was talking the input part because input leads to output so how you can vary inputs to increase output so what are the input from where it is being sourced how to vary the, those then value addition you will be taught like how to enhance value branding of agricultural product packaging of agricultural products value addition of agricultural product then pricing strategies how to price because if you price too cheap then people will not buy if you price too high people will not buy so this is all called marketing angle so these are all aspects which will be covered in your agri a uh, business management program basically business side like marketing distribution supply chain packaging pricing yeah and then input part like uh, what are the aspects which goes into the uh, input uh, as an input for manufacturing of agricultural product how market works what is e market how the uh, e mandis are operating how you can sell your product so these are all there are huge uh, syllabus so it's very difficult to tell you at this platform but what you have learned in your bsc ag is about the production aspect of agriculture here you will be taught about the business aspect of your agricultural products thank you uh, pravalika also wants to uh, uh, you know ask a question pravalika you are unmuted please uh, please ask pravalika
Ravalika, you rose your hand. Do you have a question? Okay, we'll go to the next question, sir. Uh, sir my graduation completed in BBA Agriculture. I'm hearing it for the first time. How do uh, how important is MBA in agriculture business management? Okay. Uh, well, I, uh, I don't know. He has completed BBA, so he does not qualify to do agri MBA because we need basics, uh, B BSc into agricultural. Yeah, yeah. He says BBA agriculture, sir. Actually, I don't know. Hmm. He has done BBA agriculture. Uh, I haven't heard he of this course anyway. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, one Mr. Junaid asked a question, sir. Uh, how COVID-19 is going to impact the internships and placement in the uh, you know up upcoming season? Well, it's a, it's a very general question. Uh, COVID is impacting everybody, every sector, every individual, every city, every economy. So placement also will not uh, be an area where it will not have that impact. But only thing those who are little innovative and those who operate with their eyes open you know because covid has given us 60 days of rest time so there are people who are actually doing a lot of courses they are doing a lot of webinar learnings and there are people who are wasting their time so covid yeah no covid covid will give you an opportunities also and it will also impact so what was happening earlier will not happen the same way it has to be rebooted so therefore new sectors will open new opportunities will open so what was the placement season six months back probably will not be operating at that level however india is well poised india will never have dearth of jobs i am assuring almost all the graduates those who are calling me that placement is not at all a problem in india because india is a growing economy we have a lot of things to do in this country we are hardly 3 trillion economy compare china which is 14 trillion so a lot of things has to go and thanks to the government investment push i assure each and every student those who are doing management program in any stream forget about agri, agri business any stream you will never be jobless other domain or other study people may be but an mba in any field will always have an opportunities to work Oh, there's one question asked by uh, Mr. Shubham. He says, I have my family business in dealership in pesticides and fertilizers. So how would Agri MBA help to grow our business? Wonderful. Agri business, if you don't do this program, then probably another two, three year competition will hit you and then you will not know how to figure out how to get out of this situation. As of now, you might be very comfortable and your business might be running great. But a person with an agribusiness background will come and he will expand his business. He will innovate. You know, he will come out with some tools and technologies like customer relationship management or maybe cert some sort of cost customer loyalty programs, a strong customer engagement programs, and then he will take away all your business. So therefore, studying an mba in agri area will equip you confidence wise also innovation wise also domain expertise also and strategy wise also to plan your future well five years 10 years 15 years and 20 years you can have your strategy rolled out you will be able to face competition better and do better in your business if you are skilled in this particular professional program so Dakar sir, you not want to add something on this? Yes, sir. Exactly what you told is 100% correct, sir. And since already he is having experience since their parents, they are doing their dealership business or fertilizer, whatever it may be. Uh, that business adds to his career so that he is already 20-25% uh, learned uh, in the business there. So if he comes to MBA agriculture, he will learn more and prosper well, sir, excel well. Yes, sir. We'll take an audio question from Jetty Nikhil. Uh, Nikhil, okay. your audio is on. You can talk, please. Hello, Hello sir. Good evening. evening. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Sir, sir my, my name is Jetty Nikhil. I am from Telangana. 
sir i completed my bsc agriculture okay uh, so uh, by that we can have the job in seed companies like in marketing so how much it would change if we do the abm how much it would benefit us if we do that abm okay uh, nikhil if you start your job right now after your graduation companies will pay you maybe 30 40000 but after 4 5 years they will not be able to give you promotion into leadership role and management role because you don't have the qualification to manage those big roles that is the problem actually at gradual level, graduate level you will get opportunities you will get placements but to move high in life to get progress and promotions you need a qualification and skill that's the reason many people even after working for 3 4 years they quit their job and come back to business schools and they learn they do pgdm program mba program you see most of the iims you will have experienced guys with 3 4 years of experience they quit the job and come back because if you don't quit the job after 5 7 years you don't know what to do because they will not give you promotion and if you quit then again the next company will also hire you at same level and they will not give you a leadership position so it's always advisable that after your graduation you must do a pg a masters program so that you are completely trained in leadership in domain knowledge and all other skills which requires to function in that industry Yes, thank you very much for your answer. Thank you. Okay, uh, there's one uh, question. We'll take only two, uh, two more questions. Yes. Uh, one is uh, Mr. Manoj Kumar asked a question: uh, How is Agri MBA uh, abroad compared to India? Okay. Well, cost-wise, definitely it will cost you almost uh, seven to eight times more than India. that is number one because the travel cost staying cost and other things uh, that is one part second learning part they will groom you more into the research aspects of learning not marketing distribution and supply chain but they will be good at uh, you no know, teaching you the research part output part and production part and third probably uh, you will get some employment there uh, as uh, you get here but then again uh working in your own country and knowing the market well you will face problem because other uh, mba programs and agri business programs are little different agri business is more like a rooted program you should be very grounded individual you should be knowing the field so doing an agri business program from abroad is not a good idea if you are doing a general mba it's a very good idea but agri business program you should do from an indian uh, business schools not abroad Uh, Cecilia uh, has a question. I think I have uh, unmuted your audio, Cecilia. Please ask. Yes, yeah, sir. Sir, it is good to study ABM in Amit University, Noida. You can st- you can study from anywhere. Uh, uh, the point is very simple. You should know what you are studying, how much you are paying, and what is the prospects of placements. So, if you uh, study in Amit University, Noida. you just find out what is their placements and which company they place this agri business uh, students and one more part cecilia is its internship and dissertation studies because most of the students don't give importance to their internship like in our college vishwavishwani our students do internship in nestle itc ninja card big basket some good companies who are really core agri companies so when you go for your final placements even in internship itself you will get final placement offers from these companies because you must have uh, added lot of value uh, while doing your internship for 8 weeks so internship is the key and second is what is the final placements they offer and which company they offer so if you go to mit then probably you should be ready to work in delhi area and delhi area i think there are less companies on agri Uh, aspects i would suggest you to study either in hyderabad or probably you can go to uh, maharashtra maybe pune or maybe vizag 
but MIT Noida is not advisable because you need need to have market nearby, you know, to explore things and all that. Because if you stay in Hyderabad, we have Tata projects, which does a lot of activities in organic farming and other farming, and then we have a lot of seed companies where you can be, you know, subjected to a lot of short and long term projects. Your placement also is a just cakewalk here because of many e-commerce companies, apps, uh, especially dedicated to you know agri products and all is coming like uh, you know, marketing of mangoes, papayas, fruits, and I'm talking about fruits and fresh products. So that is what is my take. The cost will be very high at Noida, and again uh, it depends uh, how they you know provide you the internship and the you know, placement. You should check about it. And then again, you check how many e since how many years they are doing that particular uh, MBA there. How many batches sir. have passed out? Yeah. Doctor sir, can I add two points, sir? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Please. Uh, so well said, sir. You have explained very well for this question. And two points. And Hyderabad or Telangana is called as Telangana state is called as rice bowl of India and seed bowl of India means so many companies what whatever the company prevailing in India is is available in Hyderabad so it is a contributing 10 to 15 percent of the agrochemical business of the India AP and Telangana so the people who are doing MBA here will be absorbed or taken into uh, these local companies uh, so that is the reason why you try to prefer for the agri MBA or ABMs in Hyderabad Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Good, sir. Uh, we, we will conclude this webinar uh, now. Uh, thank you so much, the presenters, the audience who have actively participated and asked so many questions. In fact, uh, though it has extended by 20 minutes, uh, it is justified because of the technical. Rahul, we will take two more questions, sir. Rahul and Sunandini is asking this. Sunandini, one second, sir. Uh, Sunandini, I have unmuted your audio. Rahul is ready. You can ask Rahul. Let me also. Uh, yes, Rahul, uh, I have yeah. unmuted. In fact, both of them are live now. I think first, uh, Sunandini, please ask. Hello, 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 Okay, I have just muted Rahul back because there's a lot of disturbance. Sunandini, can you please ask your question? Sir, actually, I wanted to ask which university is better for MBA, a government or private university? Shall I answer this? Please go ahead, sir. Yes. Okay, Sunandini, I don't know what is the context of your question. When you use the word better, I assume you are asking which university provides you the right skills, training and knowledge so that you can do well in the industry. I am assuming this uh, as your uh, yes, context. So therefore, please understand MBA program is a very practical program wherein after studying your program, you have to perform in the industry. So therefore, it is always advisable to join a business school with a lot of practical oriented learning. University functions more on the theoretical aspects. Right. So after graduating in your MBA, you have to go to the industry and perform. You have to add value to their bottom line. You have to increase their business. You have to increase their profit. No, you have to increase their marketing. So therefore, you should choose those institutions who have a very practical approach to teaching and learning. 
and their products after graduation is getting placed rightly into the uh, corporate sector. I mean, their placement standards are high and then learning aspects are very high. So go by that university. Don't go by rank because university runs hundreds of courses. So when a university is ranked 10 or 20, we never know the agri business program, how good or bad it is. So therefore, you first find out the program in a university, how good, bad it is, their placements. But my advice is study to an institution which provides you practical knowledge about uh, the particular domain and provide placement at that. Okay, and just uh, trying to put Rahul back, sir. Uh, Rahul, can, now can you ask? Hello, 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 hello. Oh my hello. God, there's an echo. Rahul, I think it is. You please, uh, you know, type your question in Q&A section, Rahul. There's an echo from your yes. side. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Mr. Nick, we just think Patel is asking, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I unmuted his audio. Uh, Mr. Digvijay Singh Patel. Just hold on for a second. Yeah, Digvijay Singh Patel is on, uh, on audio now. You please ask. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, I have completed my VTEC from technology this year, sir. Sir, uh, how agri business management will help me? You have uh, completed food technology. Yes, sir. VTEC food technology. From okay. uh, Dr. Sudhakar, sir, can you take up this question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, food technology is relevant where we are having uh, some food technology courses in MBA agriculture also. You can join. You will have a very good future. See, like, uh, you know, uh, this uh, dairy farms, you know, so B-Tech food technology people are uh, very much needed for these dairy farms, process dairy milk and milk products companies like Amul, Dodla Dairy, Heritage Dairy. So uh, they are doing very good business and they need people like you. And if you complete MBA agriculture, uh, where uh, food technology is also specialization, which which one is having uh, one course, food technology course, food processing. So if you learn here, you will be helpful for the companies like Amul, Parley, and even for Coca-Cola, Pepsi, all these uh, companies, they need you. You are uh, technically sound. If you come to MBA agriculture, commercially will be sound. You will become techno-commercial person, uh, helpful for the companies. And you will lead a team of uh, 15 to 20 people. You can guide them. You can supervise them. You can uh, monitor them so that you can be helpful for the company and you will have very good prospects also. So a lot many companies are there uh, in food technology. So biscuit companies, chocolate companies, Cadbury's, the uh, nutrition Actually, companies. Actually, sir, I'll add up. This year, our uh, uh, final placement, Nestle came. They were insisting on this food technology. Whoever exactly. has done food technology specialization, exactly, sir. Uh, they have hired them. So total uh, five or six uh, people got placed. Exactly. Yes. So basically, they were uh, looking for this food technology as one of the subjects learning. Yes. So yes. Rightly said. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Uh, so I think we should conclude, sir. Yes. Okay. So thank you so much for your presentations, uh, Dr. Bharat Bhushan Singh and Dr. Sudhakar Reddy. Uh, uh, they are really insightful, and uh, I am definitely confident that. You know, all the students have gained uh, uh, insightful observations and uh, quest questions are quite interactive. In fact, you know, so many students have asked questions. A uh, few of the questions we may not have uh, been able to answer due to the time uh, constraint. So I request all of you to uh, send me an email uh, so that you know, I'll answer them uh, uh, manually, I'll reply you back uh, for your emails. And uh, so uh, we are def uh, we are conducting the webinars on Wednesdays and Saturdays related to management studies. We are uh, taking various functions of management. Uh, you know, next webinar most likely would be at uh, 5 p.m. on Saturday. I request uh, those who are interested to uh, you know uh, please attend it. Uh, you we will send you the communication shortly. Okay, and uh, thank you so much. Anything else to share, sir? Bharat sir and Sudhakar sir. Only yeah, uh, I I would like to extend my 
appreciations to all those who have participated in today's webinar it was a wonderful session though we started with little technical problem hope we have been able to answer their queries however we are open to their offline questions which they can mail to us and on behalf of vishwishwani i wish them all the best in their future endeavors this century belongs to india let's face covid 19 confidently there is no question of we stopping now all the best to all of them thank you thank you so much sir thank you sudhakar sir thank you thank sudhakar you, sir. sir thanks for your time sir. thank you thank you sir so we are calling off thank you all yes thank you navin bye 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 bye